Six new members were inducted into the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame today. Their names and accomplishments now forever found right off Lakeland Drive. And tonight, the event saw its largest crowd ever. So they had to move that induction ceremony to the Jackson Convention Center this year. We'll just call the marquee inductee Hall of Fame Favre. After being inducted into the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame last month, Brett Favre enters the hall closest to home. Southern Miss icon and NFL legend is a three-time league MVP, Super Bowl champion, and holds multiple all-time NFL records. But the Kiln native says hearing his name being mentioned in the same breath as Magnolia State legends feels a bit awkward. To have a chance to be, you know, placed in the Hall of Fame with people, uh, you know, like, like Walter Payton, um, Jerry Rice, Archie Manning, Bart Starr, your name is up in the Ring of Honor with, with you know, some names that we all can recognize. It seems a little bit awkward because those are the people that I always looked up to as a kid. Um, it just doesn't seem like I belong there. He belongs. He trusts me. He belongs. Fred McAfee had more than a cup of coffee in the league as well. Fast Freddie spent 16 years as one of the most valuable special teams players in the NFL. Most of those years were about three hours away with the Saints. Before that, he led Mississippi College to a Divisional II National Championship. He still holds the school's single-season rushing yards and touchdown records. On the hardwood, Clarence Weatherspoon played 13 years in the NBA, was a top-10 pick in the 1992 draft. In college, Spoon was an absolute beast, a three-time Conference Player of the Year at Southern Miss. He's the school's leader in block shots and rebounds. Both gentlemen are in their college's Hall of Fame, but they've become a treasure of the state today. It's been a process uh, from, from elementary school, high school, college, uh, you know, the pros. Now you're being honored by, you know, your peers in the state. And, uh, you know, this, this is a big honor, you know, going in with a great class of guys. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's just a big honor. Oh, it's like, man, at the top. You know, like you see the ceiling, like, way up there with those light bulbs at. That's what it's ranks, you know. This is a... Uh, Great, you know, feeling to come back home and uh, be recognized, you know, as one of Mississippi's best. And uh, like I said, coming in with these guys, like, great, great athletes, yeah. All of the inductees are big names. That's why they're Hall of Famers. You know, the other three Mississippi legends, Gwen White, spent over 50 years as a basketball and tennis coach in the state. She won 79% of her games as a high school coach. Mike Dennis started Murrow High School but before becoming a two-time All-SEC performer at running back at Ole Miss during the mid-60s. And last but not least, another USM alum and Steve Knight, the winningest college basketball coach in this state's history. Coach Knight has 610 wins. He's still going strong as the head man at William Carey University.